What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Goldmouth, coming at you guys with a question of the day, okay? Okay, this question was by one of you guys, one of my subscribers, and this question was, will S-Curl Spray grow your hair? S-Curl Spray. Y'all know I live by this. I swear by this. I love this. I mean, this is my number one choice. Maybe the top two of my peak in moisturizers um, right alongside of the my daily leave-in strengthener but anyways um does s curl spray grow your hair okay i can clearly say s curl spray itself will not grow your hair um i did not answer that question um with a reply because simply it's a complicated question and i can't just like break it down to you in a few words s curl spray will not grow your hair keeping your hair moisturized and sealed and also in protective styles will eventually help you retain length your hair is going to grow regardless there's different products on the market that can um boost your hair growth but s curl spray will not help your hair make your hair grow at all whatsoever now what s curl spray can do to your hair if you uh, follow through with it and do it correctly you, it will help you retain length and when I say retain length that means keep your ends that's why a lot of people's hair today don't grow past a certain length because they haven't maintained their ends the only way you're gonna see growth by looking at a person is like okay just say you got a cousin name Lakeisha, you know, because we probably all got a cousin named Lakeisha, but you got a cousin named Lakeisha. Her hair been at yay length, neck length, what is this, neck length or shoulder length, since she was in the 10th grade. Now she's 30, 31 years old. Random number. Okay, her hair is still at neck length, shoulder length. She has never cut her hair. She has never done a chop. She's only gotten her ends trim her whole life. She's never had a haircut ever since the 10th grade. She's never, or was it the 8th grade? Or whatever grade it was. She's never had a, a major haircut that caused her hair to, like, stay that length. The reason her hair is that length, a lot of people wonder why your hair is the same length, is because you have not practiced um, length retention. That's, like, one of the number one um reasons that we don't see our hair growth but we know it's growing especially if you're relaxed because if you're constantly putting relaxer in your hair what does that mean that means your hair is growing because you're constantly getting new growth but you're not seeing it on the ends because you're not keeping your ends protected if you constantly wear your hair down all the time and it's rubbing up against your shoulders that's more than likely where it's going to stay because it's steady there because black hair is just brittle like that and it's real delicate and gentle and stuff so if you want your hair to grow, keep it off your shoulders. Number one, keep it off your shoulders, keep it moisturized, keep it sealed, and keep your ends tucked away in a protective style. Wear it out at your leisure, like uh, on different occasions. You can wear your hair down. You just, you know, you ain't got to be in prison with your hair. You can wear your hair down when you want to. Just don't wear it down 24-7 because all of that rubbing and all of that friction is not good for your hair. It's going to cause your ends to constantly break off. You might not say, oh, well, my hair ain't breaking because you don't see it coming out in clumps, but every little one, two strands, three strands, four strands, them strands add up and they're on your delicate ends. The ends are the oldest part of your hair. So you want to protect them. The older your hair gets, the more fragile it gets. Meaning, the the longer your hair gets, this ain't my hair, y'all already know. But if this was my hair, let me give you an example. These ends are the most fragile because they've been with me since they was coming at uphill. But my hair, my new hair, hold on, my new hair has since formed and pushed these ends down, down, down to this length. So now, my, how long have my ends been on here? Probably a year or more or whenever, or a couple months or, you know, a good long little bit of time. So the older something gets, the more fragile it gets. Just like people, the older we get, the more delicate we get, the more fragile our bones get. When when things get old, they just tend to die down quicker, you know? So, or break faster, you know, like older people. Just say if I was an older person or a person... That was just like in my 90s. If I fall, in, if I fall, 
versus when I'm in my 20s and I fall, I slip and fall, more than likely a 90 year old person is going to get a lot more damage or even die from just falling and breaking a bone that they can't no longer repair because they're so old. So um, I'm trying to break it down to y'all as, as good as I can. I hope y'all with me, you feel me? So a 90 year old person, a person in their 90s, if they do a slip and fall and break a, a leg or something, sometimes in a major case, sometimes that 90 year old person might have to get their leg amputated just because they slip and fell because they got other health problems along with diabetes, heart disease, whatever, whatever they may have. They may not have, but sometimes in major cases, that person may have to get their leg cut off. Okay. 20 year old they can fall and break their leg and get a cast on and they they be straight next month you feel me because they're not their bones have not aged yet that they're not that old yet but you can't do that when you get old same thing with hair this hair on the ends is your oldest part of your hair so you have to take very good care of it now you don't take no better care of this than you do this because you have to take care of this because eventually one day this is going to replace this it's gonna grow down there too so you have to take care of your whole hair your whole head of hair your whole hair from the top to the bottom from the bottom to the top but make sure you pay close attention to those ends and keep your ends rolled and tucked away as often as you can which is in a protective style if you keep them put away when you do take them down you're gonna be happy now don't just put your hair in a protective style and don't keep moisturized because like I said I don't even know if I said it but anyways I'm about to say it black hair is very brittle just like a flower if you keep watering your plants they will grow if you do not water your plants which is the moisture the water is the moisture if you do not water your plants they will die they will get brittle 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 they will get brittle dry up crackle you ever seen a dead flower you ever seen a dead rose anybody ever bought you some flowers like a bouquet of roses or whatever any kind of flower and you put it on your kitchen table and it's looking good you got water in it water in it water in it and eventually it's going to die that's just like your hair if you don't put water in it it's going to eventually die but anyways the reason why flowers die um, it's because they've been plucked out of the ground. They're not they're no longer connected to a, a source that's gonna give them life. Your hair is connected to your head, which is the source that gives them life. So you want to keep your hair moisturized from the inside out as well. You want to drink a lot of water. You want to eat right, you want to exercise. Exercise causes your blood to flow through your body, you know, to circulate through your body, which goes to your head and blood circulation to your scalp. Child, I'm, I don't went on a whole, I don't went on a whole nother world, but y'all stay with me now, which causes blood circulation to your scalp. And you know, gives the energy up there. So your hair is going to grow because it's happy because you got blood flowing. See, I don't went into a whole nother video. <laughs> so in other words, escrow spray does not grow your hair. I hope you get where I'm coming from. If you have any further questions, let me know. If anybody has any further questions, let me know. Because I, I know about this hair growth thing. I might not look like it to a lot of you guys because of the way my hair looks. But honey, I got it down packed. Trust and believe. Anyway, well, I hope I covered everything. If I left anything out, y'all let me know. Ask me a question. We could do an ask go mouth if you want to, boo. It ain't even got to be about how, you know, if you feel like asking me something else. Holla at me, all right? And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holla at y'all later. Bye.